Hi everybody and welcome to MTG Managed Group. Today we'll be looking at Jace vs Vraska's dual deck. It has just been released and the product will be out on March 14. So let's just go through the deck list for now and uh, some of the artworks. So first up, your feature card for this dual deck will be Jace Architect of Thought and Vraska the Unseen. Usually these kind of products will be selling at about like 20 plus um, dollars. So these kind of silk products are usually worth much more than their MSRP. If I'm not wrong, this architect of thought is about about 20 bucks. And remand is also about 20 bucks. So there you go. <laughs> these two cards already made up almost the full cost of your price already. I mean, uh, a lot of bad uh, <laughs> comments on Jay's Architect of Thought for this release as uh, I feel that Jay's here is a bit fat <laughs> yeah so if you can compare Jay's in this version with uh, the Jay's in all other versions it really looks Jay's has put it on some weight <laughs> but Vraska is quite cool I like I like the new design of this Vraska a uh, more frontal shot. Body double looks awesome as well. But uh, it looks like it's a body multiple. <laughs> Instead of body double. Yeah, and uh, Riman is seeing a lot of modern play now. So a really good card to be in the dual deck. And if I'm not wrong, Riman is about right now 15, 17 bucks. So yeah. Pretty good value for the dual deck if you're gonna get it. So let's go through the deck list for Jays. Starting off with the lens, you have Drake Sen uh, Set Satory. Uh, basically a man land where you can become a 4-2 golem artifact creature at the end of turn. And you have a Halimun Depths. It enters battlefield tap, but when it enters battlefield, you can look at the top 3 cards of your library and put them back in any order. So basically, it is like a scry tree. So pretty awesome to have uh, 2 of them. And so basically, uh, Jace's deck is about control, using your spells, returning target creatures to the opponent's hand, or countering them, and you win with illusions. Yep, some of the cards that you have is uh, like Aether Adept, when it come, enters battlefield, return target creature to the owner's hand. You have Agoraphobia, where, and Crusherphobia, like a soft removal. You have control magic to enchant control uh to enchant to control enchanted creature. Future side helps you with your card draw and you can have one more card to play. A uh, really good spell there. Grip tide is another soft removal, returning creature to its owner's library. And a couple of uh spells to help you control and draw cards like Top Scowl. And then you win with cards like your Illusions, you have your Chromomation that keeps getting bigger every turn. You have your Jay's the Mind Seeker, or your 4-4 four, four Flyer can cast a spell without paying mana cost. You have Jay's Phantasm, it's a 1-1 one, one Flying, but it gets plus 4, plus 4 as long as opponent has 10 or more cards in his or her graveyard. And a lot of Illusions that you can make use of. Phantasmal Dragon is a very good card. And of course, you have your Jay's Architect of Thought, which helps you draw your cards. Uh, its first ability is until your next turn, opponent's creature gets minus one, minus zero. Uh, your second ability, minus two, reveal top three cards, separate into two piles, and your opponent choose one of the piles. You don't get to keep the as in you get to keep one of the piles and its ultimate ability is to search the players for each player search your library for a non-land card and exile it and that player shuffle his or her library you may cast those cards without paying the mana cost so yep that's your Jace's deck I personally doesn't feel that is a very strong deck other than um, it has a lot of value simply due to Riman and Jay's Architect of Thought. The combination is kind of weird. 
basically it's just a very normal control deck that you play with <laughs> so yep so let's look at Vraska's deck we have your basic lens uh, <laughs> one of the guild gates have your rook's passage pretty good card uh, in combination with what Vraska's deck has where you want to disable creatures blocking because Vraska's ultimate is uh, really awesome you can get there so let's start with Vraska so you, you understand how this deck works so its first ability is whenever a creature deals damage to Vraska it destroys that creature so basically you are giving Vraska uh, death touch the second ability is destroy target non-land permanent really very powerful and your ultimate will be put 3 one, one black assassin creature token onto play and whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. So yep, its ultimate ability is kind of uh, <laughs> awesome and in combination with your rogue's passage is uh, really deadly. And some of the stuff in Vraska decks are Corpse Trader, uh, a lot of uh, discarding and uh, creature removal, a lot of death touch as well. So, like Druding Groot Lion, <laughs> Druding Gudian, <laughs> for 3 sacrifice creature, it gets plus 2, plus 2, and another creature gets minus 2, minus 2. A lot of stuff, Ripple of Wilds is good, uh, Death Touch creature, River Boa can reach for regeneration. And uh, White of the Prison 6. If I'm not wrong, this is currently in standard as well, and it gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyard. So it really works well with all your creature removal, and playing this to make it a huge creature. Next, uh, with all the spells, you have Consume Strength. Grizzly Spectacle is pretty awesome, you destroy target non-artifact creature and it's controllable a number of cards equal to that creature's power from top of his library into his or her graveyard. So with this in combination with a uh, lot of uh, other creature removal spells and stuff that get pumps up with for each creature in your opponent's graveyard, this is really awesome. Yep, and uh, another card draw with Underworld Connections. So yeah, I'm pre I'm feeling pretty good about Vraska's deck instead of uh, Jace. I would think this would be a more competitive one than Jace's deck. But yep, let us know what you think about it. Jace's versus Vraska. And yeah, you'll be released on March 14th, so if you are interested in this, do get it at your local card shop. And so that's it for this episode. If you'd like to support the series, please do hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.